everybody. This is Danila Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the magnificent nature with you all once again. The spontaneous order that surrounds us all. So my son, my seven-year-old son and my five-year-old daughter were playing a game with my wife recently and my son was crying because my daughter was changing the rules. She was making up her own rules so that she could win. And my son didn't like that. He wanted to play by the rules. He wanted to be strict by the rules. And it made me think about an analogy of that and the market economy. There are those people who understand economic law, universal morality, the laws of physics, laws of mathematics, these laws are unchangeable, unalterable, immutable. They are discovered. They are not created. And try as you may, you cannot violate them. Try to violate the law of gravity by jumping off a bridge or jumping off a building and you will understand the consequences. Try to violate what it means to have scarce resources, what it means to have debt. You can imagine you have thousands of dollars in your bank account but there is a certain economic reality that we all must face. For those people who are intimately understanding and intimately involved in economics and business and entrepreneurship, that reality hits home very strongly. And there is no making up rules as you go along. You can try your hand in the marketplace. You can take a gamble, you can take a risk. But if in the end that risk fails, that gamble fails, then you must also abandon that project and embark on a new project. There is no pretend, there is no fantasy, there is no make-believe. There are certain rules that we all must abide by in the world. If you practice at something, you will improve, you will get better. That's a rule. <laughs> there are no shortcuts to mastery. There are no warp zones. <laughs> in the real world. There's only dedication, perseverance, and hard work. And those people who are more logical-minded, more rational-minded, as my son is, and interestingly enough, my son is also very much interested in mathematics and chess, which I am also interested in. I'm a big chess player. In those disciplines, in those fields, there are specific rules, specific guidelines in which to conduct oneself. And although they are strict, once they are understood, there can be beauty and creativity in that paradigm. But if you make up rules in chess, if you make up rules in any game, you are no longer playing that game. You're playing a different game. You're playing a make-believe game, a fantasy game. And perhaps those also have their appeal and they have their usefulness, but when we're trying to understand the world around us in terms of physics or chemistry or mathematics or thermodynamics or economics, there are certain rules that we must understand and we must recognize if we are to succeed in the world. And to neglect this is to do oneself an enormous disservice. And also another thing that understanding these rules does is quickly ascertain the capable from the incapable, the proficient from the clumsy. In every aspect of our lives, we want the best. When we buy something, we want our hard-earned currency to be used for something that's valuable. We want our money to be used at the highest degree possible. We want the best phone, we want the best clothes, we want the best shoes, we want the best food that our money can buy. Nobody wants to waste their money recklessly. Well, perhaps if you're intoxicated, but for the most part, when people understand the difficulty in acquiring resources and acquiring money, you don't squander them haphazardly. You always want the best. If you like a certain musical genre, you want to hear the best. If you like chess, you want to learn from the best. If you want to learn an instrument, you want to learn from the best. So understanding and respecting a world of strict rules can help you to determine who is the best and consequently who to learn from. Because without this, we are all groping in the dark. We are all dreaming while we are awake. And there's nothing wrong with dreaming, but sooner or later, one must 
recognize and accept the laws of the world, the laws of reality, the laws of economics, the laws of business. And this will do great things in achieving success and prosperity for oneself. Thank you very much for listening. This is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy nature. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peacefulanarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.